Coming up in today's video, we set sail as I swap van life for boat life, we have to quickly run off a tour bus, and Steve ends up fondling a man's tackle. But we started the day waking up next to someone's house outside a youth club. Good morning. I have no idea where I am. Uh, someone leave a comment below. A community hall car park or a playing field car park. I wonder where that plane's going. <laughs> Bit of mildew on the grass this morning. And so I'm going to say good morning to Steve. Good morning, mate. What's that? A good night's sleep or what? That was a really good night's Maybe sleep. just sometimes. No one pulled into the car park. No. It was just absolutely spot on. And yeah, actually, you'd think this would be really busy, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. but it's not busy because of the height barrier. Yeah. So if you are going to come, don't come in a big van, don't come in a motorhome. You simply won't get in. It says 2.3 meter height barrier. I suspect it's ever so slightly shorter than that. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Because we only just got in. Yeah, but actually. <sighs> Oh, it's so, well, it was. It's that part of the morning where mm. the grass has got the mildew. Yeah, it's and like it's just. Here now, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. Would you like a tea? Well, I'm not going to say no to a cup of tea. <laughs> All right, let's get the kettle on. breakfast this morning I have a mixed berry flavour porridge oats. Nothing too fancy this morning. I'm just gonna get some breakfast in me and then we're going to Liverpool. Maybe have a bit more of a fancy lunch and we'll cook some dinner later on and find a nice little spot. But it's a nice morning this morning. And that is the van all packed, ready to go for our day in Liverpool. So goodbye from this park up, a lovely quiet playing field on the back of someone's uh, house. We've got a toll to go through and then we're gonna park up at Liverpool Cathedral and then we've got a bus tour and a bit of a cruise later on to go and explore Liverpool city centre. Join me for the rest of the trip. And as we make our way into the city, here's a quick mention from today's video sponsor. Super Sparrow, they've sent me some brand new water bottles to keep me company on my adventures. And they haven't just sent me one, they've also sent my wife, Alyssa, a brand new water bottle, and my son, Henry, a water bottle as well for him to take to school. They've got a plethora of new designs on their website, including this one with a rubberized mouthpiece. Now I'm still rocking the original Super Sparrow bottles that they sent me, I think two years now for our first collaboration. Now every single shot that you see me do inside this van, whether it be putting the bed away, you'll normally see my Super Sparrow bottle, which is a very similar color to this, but a little bit smaller, always perched up on the side of the work surface here. I use it on every single camp. And if that all wasn't good enough, every single collaboration that I've done with Super Sparrow, they've always included some free bottles to give away to you guys. All you have to do is follow their Instagram on screen here, and also leave a comment below this video. I'll be picking a winner sometime within the next week or so. I've got five brand new bottles to give away, so make sure you follow on Instagram, leave a comment on this video, and I'll get your details over to them, and you could be in with a chance of winning yourselves your own Super Sparrow bottle. I'll also leave a link in the description below, where you guys can check out their whole new range of bottles on their website. I want to say a huge thank you to Super Sparrow again for being longtime supporters of the channel. Now back to today's video. Right, we're at the toll and I need two pounds. Two pounds, check. Okay, and we're away. Welcome to Liverpool. It's got me thinking, right, of all this introduction of you, Les, and Kaz, and all that kind of stuff around different cities in the country. 
this might well be the last time I can come to Liverpool in a van. I'm not quite sure if Liverpool's got a proposed ULES. I know Manchester's got a proposed, or whether it was introduced, that it's not supposed to come into effect until next, I'm not quite sure, but I know London's got an expansion. And uh, in my opinion, I don't know if this is very YouTube friendly, but it's all a bit of a, a scam. It's not exactly fair to the average road user. I certainly can't afford a Euro 6 van. Uh, I'm sure most of you can't as well. Uh, I won't. In a quarter um, of a mile, turn right onto Norton Street, St Anne Street. I won't go as far as completely condoning certain uh, criminal acts, but let's just say I'm a big fan, a really big fan of the film Blade Runner. If you've ever seen it, uh, the new one with is it Ryan Reynolds or Ryan Gosling? I'm not quite sure, but Blade Runner, quality film. Wow. Liverpool Cathedral. Wow, the wide angle lens doesn't really do it justice, but when you come up and you look up, there's a lot of, uh, lot of angle that you've got to, to actually see the top there. I'm oh, looking forward to seeing inside this. For notices about the life of the cathedral, then please There's apparently a choir at 10.30, which would be quite spectacular to see. And 10.30 is fast approaching. We'll see if we can get a little bit of footage of that for you. Never heard a choir that I, magnificent. Yeah, that I, is absolutely brilliant. That totally. is. Just one more final look while we're here. So yeah. And as you said before, the acoustics in here are just. Oh. Yeah. That was remarkable. Beautiful oh, choir. It was for gorgeous. Visit, wasn't it? Yeah. And there's no cost to get in here, is there? No, to oh, totally oh. free. Um, yeah, a really, really nice place to come if you can have a look around Liverpool. And if you can catch that and listen to it in person, I mean, that, that to me now, like I come out of there and I feel peace, peace calm. Yeah. I feel nice. You know, that's, that's a good feeling, that is. Do you want to know an interesting fact about Liverpool? Oh, please. Or I think it's a fact. Maybe someone can clarify in the comments, but uh, I read this a few years back. Yeah. It's just come to mind now. So here is the fact. Women are permitted to go topless in Liverpool, provided they work as a clerk in a shop selling tropical fish. Do you think that's true? Well, I, to be fair... One of the I, strange laws of Liverpool. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I was looking at some fish for my pun, so, I mean, we can have a look around. I mean, I'm, you know... Yeah, Steve. It's one of those tropical fish stores. I want straight past that. <laughs> Liverpool's most exclusive tropical fish shop. <laughs> the gentleman's club. I wonder if they. Uh... I mean, what is a gentleman anyway? I mean, what is a gentleman these days? Oh, oh down the hatch. I thought it said down the snatch. <laughs> <laughs> what is the idea behind locking a lock on the side here? Now, is it making a wish? Is it uh, if you're with a partner or a lover and you want to? Unite your love in a, in a form of a lock? I don't know. What does this mean? Why do people leave locks? Locked on the side this year. What do you think, mate? What's your theory? Why do you think oh, there's loads of locks here? Oh, God, I've seen it. Do you know there's a bridge in Bakewell that's literally got all these on? Yeah. Um, and it's, they apparently reckon it's added, like, nearly nearly five tonne to the weight of the bridge. Yeah. Right. It's, it's, a, it's a 
a good what, looking what's, lovers what's do it though, don't they? Oh, is that, is that yeah. what it is? Yeah. Lock that, your love in. Yeah. That's what, so I thought see, that might have been you'll it. You'll see some of them will have look. See the writing on them of, of the, the two couple. Uh, what who's that? No, 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 not. I don't know. But anyway, the, date, <laughs> the dates on it. Hang on, come on. Let's get a couple of names going here. We got Noel and Noel and Noe. Noel and yeah. Noe. Any other names, mate? There was one down there. Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Someone called Wilco. Yeah. And, uh, I bet, w Wilco. I bet, I bet they're gone now. Uh, hang on. They've got a padlock and a padlock and a padlock. Oh, wow. Padlock, lock, they, lock. Re they really love each other. Yeah. Uh, Maybe that's all their kids. Oh, hang on. Look, look. What? Mike and Nicole, oh, together they're... forever. Are they? 26th anniversary. Oh, that's oh, a proper lock. Yeah. That's a proper lock. A lock of your love. Mike isn't it? and Nicole. Well, there you are. There's your shout out, Mike and Nicole. Happy 26th anniversary, which looks like about 20 years ago. Oh, come on. It's nice. I honestly feel like I'm abroad. Like I'm in some port destination in Europe. You got the sea. Well, I don't know. Canal. What would you call it? What's it called? I don't think it's called the sea. Mersey? Is that the Mersey, is it? Yeah. Could be in uh, Spain, Greece with the sun, beating off the back of my neck, frying me alive. Yeah. Feels like Europe. God, look at that. That is beautiful. Who's that statue of? What's that building called? I think that's a liver building. I'm pretty sure that is. Looking forward to this. Get me on that boat. Well, there we are. There's my ticket. River cruise and sightseeing bus tour. So we'll go on the river cruise first, which would be quite nice. I think um, for the whole thing, for the river cruise and the bus tour, buses finish at 4 p.m. The whole thing was 22 pounds. Now I think that's pretty good value for money. Ahoy me shipmates. What is the bow? What is the stern? What is starboard? What is port? I don't know. Prom deck. We're not standing, we're standing. I think we are standing, mate, yeah. Oh. Hang on, mate. Come here. Squeeze on, come on. We just about did it, come on. Get yourself parked, lad, come on. Oh, you want to take your bloody bag off first, crikey. <laughs> Off we go. We are the most annoying <laughs> neighbour passengers here, right? <laughs> Both holding our cameras like proper tourists. <laughs> and that is Birkenhead over there. Where we were yesterday. <laughs> Couple of jet skis in the distance over there. Big jet ski, Steve. Uh, yes. Jet skis in Liverpool, mate. Yeah, but you think of jet skis, you think of the Bahamas, you think of you know what I mean. Not Liverpool. It's, it's incredible. We've seen a different side to Liverpool. And we're off, back to where we started. That was a lovely boat trip along the Mersey. I would definitely recommend that. Now we're gonna start taking the, well, one of the open top buses over there. Have a little look around Liverpool. Definitely try and get some grub in my belly. Uh, Steve's mentioned about getting a plate of Scouse, if that's what it's called. There you are, mate. Cheers, mate. Outside the statue. And at this end, you've got John. Got in his hands, he's holding acorns. The audio. Actually, got the acorns from Central Park oh, right. in New York. Yeah. Made Can we turn him off from here? And actually, put it Can into, into his hands. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's your fanny bag? Oh, sorry, mate. Come on, if you're going to be a tourist, do it properly. You're right. <laughs> You're right, Steve, it's okay. You're still here, mate. You're still here, mate. <laughs> and we're off. But then disaster struck and Steve lost his hat. <laughs> Cheers, 
buddy. Thanks, man. See you, bud. Alright. <laughs> well, you might, you might get your hat back yet, mate. You might get your hat back yet. So, our first stop of the day is the other cathedral in Liverpool. Hi, hi it's Stephen Brandon. Is it called Liverpool Cathedral? Uh, yeah, the same yeah, name, just different yeah, building. It's just a Roman Catholic, isn't okay. it? Okay. And when you think of the word cathedral, and I'm gonna whisper a little bit just out of respect for others, but I think of an old building. I think of something that was built hundreds of years ago. I don't really imagine many cathedrals being built in modern era. When was this built? Have you, have you seen any info, Steve, on when yes, this was I built? Have, um, 19, in, built during the, planned during the 19, early 1960s, built, it was, in action by 1969. Right. So it's actually post-modern, it's post-modern, isn't it, when concrete was... Is that what it's called? Yeah. Is that what this architecture's yeah. called? Checking his other ones there, mate. Can anyone think of a, another modern-day cathedral that's been built somewhere else in the UK in the last... 100 years, should we say? Leave a comment below. Well, that was a pretty breathtaking building. The other Liverpool Cathedral. Hey, you mentioned earlier on yes. about the rocky steps. Those are the rocky steps, mate. <laughs> da -da -da. Da -da -da. Yeah, you need to sit down to hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. And we're back on the bus. I caught well, the we front call this time. Well, nice Can lightning strike twice? Steve's left his camera behind. Great, Come on, mate. Don't worry, don't worry. Thank you, thank you very don't much. Don't worry, every 20 minutes. Now, now. Okay. Uh, so, oh, that was a good quick trip. Cheers, mate. Yeah. 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 Cool. Come on, mate. Get a jog on. We've got to get his camera. You got it. Way! Well done, mate. Well done. He's got his camera. Just another half hour to wait for the bus now. <sighs> I'm sure it will come as no surprise to most of you, but the stress of losing and then finding Steve's camera worked me up a big appetite. It was time to go on the lookout for some food. Here we are, Hope Street. Let's hope there's some food down here. Oh, isn't that a unique thing to see? School for the Blind, incorporated in 1829. School for the Blind. It's now a, uh, well, a cocktail place, but... Uh, yeah, why well. would the School for the Blind have steps outside it? I mean, you'd think they'd build it on a level ground, wouldn't you? That's, that's a very good point. That's a very good well, point. Right there, look. Yeah, the flute. 99. What for? Two meals? Yeah. You fancy a meal? Yeah, let's okay, do it. Okay, let's do it. I think I asked me twice. Two meals for 13 quid. Okay. Is this some other spoons? It does look like it's one. It's very one of the spoons like, isn't it? Yeah. Let me show you the interior here. So we have ordered our food. Steve's gone for the cheese and bacon beef burger. I've gone for the chicken and bacon burger. Both come with chips and a drink. We've got Cokes coming. Here he is, yeah. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Thanks very much, mate. Oh, nice cold Coke, mate, on a hot day. Oh. Well, Steve did order a beef burger, but he's ended up having a chicken. <laughs> but I would we'll complain, but... <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, so let's get this burger down as well. Chicken, bacon, cheese, and a bit of lettuce, and a bit of mayo. Mm. Mm. I am ready now to continue the rest of the day. Let's get back on that bus. I left my camera at the bus stop. Oh my god, mate. Cheers, mate. Thanks, buddy. All great. And we're back on board the fun bus.
times are dragging on a little bit, we're going to go and see oh, a famous little place. But I want to see if you recognise it. So uh, I'll join you back as we get back to the band. Where could we be? Where has Steve taken us? I don't recognise this street. Maybe one of you will. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, this must be the old street sign then. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so this street is called Brookside. Yeah. This is the location of one of Liverpool's most watched soap operas. Exactly, yeah. Now, I can't remember much of Brookside when I was younger, when I was a lad. I remember my uh, my mum watching it a lot, but I can't actually remember seeing Brookside on TV that much. The memories aren't very um, vivid, should we say. This is where all the drama happened. Let me tell you a little bit about what we got then, OK? Because I am actually watching Brookside at the moment because it's been re-released on STV. So okay. let's have a look at what... I'm going to go back to the day it was launched, OK? And Any so, people that are watching that are 45 plus? Yeah. So the houses are famous. First of all, we've got the house there, OK? That Which one, one? The brown one? The, the one the in tan. Buff Brick, OK? The, the tan. Yep. Yeah. The, the, that, that was the home to... Um, it, oh, God. Heather. Heather. OK. Heather. So that house there, over there with the garage, with the sort of pitch on the roof, that was the home to the, the Grants. So the grand, were, they, were they rough? Yeah. They, oh, okay. Well, they were. They, they sound were, rough. They were working class, religious mom. What oh, about there. the bungalow? The is, bungalow. That, is that new? Yeah, that was first. That was first occupied by a guy called Alan Partridge. Yeah. A complete nutcase. Mm, not not. Harry not, Cross. Not eventually. the Alan Partridge. No, no. It, that's not how the, he took his my name. Before spike. That's how oh, he that took one. his name. Okay. And then it was owned, but most famously by Harold Cross. Yeah. Anyway, we'll say goodbye to Brookside, yeah. first, won't we? Goodbye, Brookside. And to all the families that now live here. So we're off to another place now. That is actually his name, by the way. Another place. <laughs> I lost Steve along the way. He went the wrong way. So uh, we'll see if we catch each other when we get there. You decided to join me then? How long have you been? <laughs> I've literally just turned up. What happened junction, to you? That junction was proper complicated. Oh. I couldn't literally get back on the road again. Uh, we've got a bit of a problem. What? What? Raining? <laughs> well, the, yeah, yeah, raining. Yeah, that's, yeah. O that's obviously one of the problems. What is it? Um, you know, we were going to have uh, chili. Yeah. <laughs> you, haven't got no you haven't bought the stuff? Oh, I've got the stuff, all right. Yeah. Oh, the stuff's in the fridge, mate. Yeah, what? Only There's only one problem. What? Fridge ain't cold. <laughs> oh, no. How's that happened? <laughs> I think I didn't put enough charge in it. Oh, my God. <laughs> so Should have put cold. it in my fridge. So do you want some poo tortilla chips? <laughs> 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 Going to give you the squids when you get home. Oh, no. No, man. <laughs> oh. Why do it have to start raining no, now, I eh? need that. We need this. Last part of our trip, yeah. and it has to start chucking it down. At least it's not torrential at the moment. Well, how long have you been... Right. Should we, go, should we go and see another place? Yeah, let's go and yeah. see another place. Yeah. yeah. So this is another place. We are officially out of Liverpool now in a place called Crosby. Yeah. And as you can see, you've got everybody leaving the beach now because it's raining and we're the only dimwits that are actually walking towards the beach. It's got the nicest sand, though. <laughs> oh, yes. We've seen some beaches on this trip, but this is the first time we've got our feet on some sand, isn't it? Yeah. There's oh, something yes. odd about this beach, isn't there? There's something odd about it. Very odd about the, this beach. So there's a lot of people standing around, isn't there? Oh, so these are the little... Monu well, yeah. what would you call them? Monuments? Statues or statues. something? What is the whole thing about this then, yeah. Steve? Yeah, so it's an art, a mass art installation, right? When? So, you know... When, 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 when? when? Oh, God, I think it was probably in the 90s. OK. But, you know, when you built... Who? Uh, Anthony Gromwell? But anyway, if we Gorm. spell... Gorm. No, Gorm. Gormley. Gorm. If we spell right. that wrong, right... But Let this, us know below. So, you know, when you build the Angela North, you think to yourself, what, what else can I do that's just even bigger than that? You're going to put some statues in the sand. In... Of yourself, and like, you know. This is the, what, what, these are statues of him? Of him? Of him. He's, he, he's like his exact mould. You're we joking? Do, yeah, we do apologise about the genitalia. He wasn't gifted and he was told about that, that he would be mocked for it. <laughs> Right? No, no, you, are, you, are you kidding? No, I'm not. You're telling yeah. me this guy yeah. took an actual mould of his yeah. own body, and everything. He had bolt breast. He, he had, instead of nipples, he had bolts. 
Right, so they said, he said, do you want us just put normal nipples on? You said, no, 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 we'll do. Today's his knob, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Come what on. The what Here, the fuck? that sound it? off there, look. <laughs> <laughs> you want to you have a little feel of that? <laughs> Come on, this is where you can feel a knob, but not... No, you. I don't want to give people the wrong impression. Right, what's, anyway, wrong, what's wrong with his nipples? They're the bolts, with... that's what I mean. What do you mean, bolts? What are you talking about? Like Frankenstein, but not on the neck, but on the breast instead. No, 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 no. What's the nipples yeah, that's, about? That's, that's what it is. What the flipping heck is that doing here? Who gave him permission? You're telling me the local council said he was all right to do that? Yeah. <laughs> Get a mould of his own body and then put it on the beach. Exactly, mate, right? That is it. So let's go and see a lot Who the of hell nice sign that off? This one likes it's into bondage. A lot of bondage with that look. Yeah, he's, he's got he's, he's a got a tackle as well. Right. He's got a bit of tackle. Right. It's a sight to behold, isn't it, guys? It's got a padlock on it. Story that Barry found it. I did Google him, I forgot what the history behind it. Well, I think he, he was a bit of a voyeur. I think oh, he, he liked to be looked voyeur. at. Listen, listen. <laughs> this is a replica of his own body. Very bizarre. Thank away. you guys ever so much for joining me and Steve on this trip around Liverpool, around Birkenhead. And I'm going to leave you with that view out to sea, not far away from where we started yesterday. I've got one more thing to say. Like and subscribe to his channel. Oh, and mine. Steve Monumental Adventures. <laughs> Adventure. <laughs> subscribe. He doesn't need them, but, you know, if you, if you are watching it and you just think, yeah, this is actually all right, click that bell. Come on, the notification bell. Just don't know. Just... <laughs> Thanks for joining me on this mini tour of Liverpool. We got away for two days and hardly spent a penny. All thanks to my trusty Renault traffic camper. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time, guys. Yeah.